Adblock Plus, ABP, is an open-source content filtering and ad-blocking extension for Mozilla Firefox, including Firefox for mobile, Google Chrome, Internet Explorer and Opera web browsers. In November 2012, Adblock Plus was also released as an app for Android devices. ABP, a forked version of an earlier, discontinued extension called Adblock, allows users to prevent page element, such as advertisements, from being downloaded and displayed. History and Statistics Michael McDonald of Progo, Utah created Adblock Plus 0.5 that improved on the original Adblock, by incorporating the following features. Whitelisting Support for blocking background images Subscription to filters with a fixed address and automatic updates. The ability to hide HTML element, allowing a greater range of images to be blocked. The ability to hide ads on a per site basis, instead of globally. Memory leak fixes. Improvements to the user interface. McDonald discontinued development and transferred the name to Vladimir Pallant, who released Adblock Plus 0.6 with a rewritten codebase in January 2006. PC World chose Adblock Plus as one of the 100 best products of 2007. Adblock Plus for Google Chrome has been available since December 2010. It has since become the most popular extension for Firefox, with around 16 million users as of June 2013. Adblock Plus has been available for Internet Explorer since August 2013. Operation Wikitribal with and without Adblock Plus. Like Mozilla's built-in image blocker, Adblock Plus blocks HTTP requests according to their source address, and can block iframes, scripts, and flash. It also uses automatically generated user styler sheets to hide elements such as text ads on a page as they load instead of blocking them, known as element hiding. Filters Basic filter rules can include world kids represented by asterisks, asterisk. Sites and objects can be whitelisted with filters that start with two at signs, at rad. Regular expressions delimited by slashes, slash, can be used. Adblock Plus also supports a more sophisticated syntax, that gives fine grain control over filters. An example of the sophisticated filtering, would be wikipedia.org-div, id equals s-i-t-e-n-o-t-i-c-e, which will hide the site notice element used by Wikipedia to display donation requests. Filter subscriptions. Users can add external filter sets. Adblock Plus includes the ability, to use one or more external filter subscriptions, that are automatically updated. Filters at point G is incompatible with this system, and Adblock Plus specifically recommends against using filters at point G for other reasons as well, but other filters that can be added by typing their addresses. A list of known Adblock Plus subscriptions is maintained on the Adblock Plus official website. Easy List was the most popular Adblock Plus filter list as of August 2011, with over 12 million subscribers. Created by Rick Petnell, it became officially recommended by the Adblock Plus program, and filter lists for other languages were built on top of it. Petnell died in 2009, and he named a user going by the name Airs2 as the new maintainer. Fanboys list is the second most popular Adblock Plus filter list. Fanboy started the service in early 2009. The lists available are Adblock List, Main List, Tracking List, Enhanced Trackers List, Annoyance Block List, and Adult List. These are available as singletons or various combinations as one subscription most notably Fanboy Ultimate Adblock List which combines every list. The lists are available for Firefox, Slayer Iron, Internet Explorer, Opera, and Midori. In May 2013, Easy List and Fanboys List were merged into one list, when Fanboy joined the Easy List team. Advert filtering and acceptable ads. Ad filtering. The owners of some websites which use third-party hosted online advertising to fund the hosting of their websites have argued that the use of ad blocking software such as Adblock Plus risks cutting off their revenue stream. While some websites such as the New York Times and the Daily Telegraph have successfully implemented subscription and membership-based paywall systems for revenue, many websites today rely on third-party hosted online advertising to function. In 2007, web developer Danny Carlton described the use of adblock as a tantamount to theft, and called for other site owners to block the Firefox web browser from their websites to deter its use. 
On December 5, 2011, Vladimir Palant announced that certain acceptable ads would be whitelisted in upcoming builds of the Adblock software, with the option to remove whitelisted ads via a custom setting in the software. According to Palant, only static advertisements with a maximum of one script will be permitted as acceptable, with a preference towards text-only content. The announcement created some controversy both at Adblock's website and at social media sites like Reddit. In 2012 Adblock's managing director Till Fader told the Swiss newspaper Thurgoazitung that the strategic partners on Adblock's whitelist could not be named, but that the partnership is part of the company's acceptable ads whitelist project. In February 2013, an anonymous source accused a Block Plus developer Vladimir Palant of offering to add his site's advertisements to the whitelist in return for one-third of the advertisement revenue. In June 2013, blogger Sasha Palenberg accused the developers of Adblock Plus of maintaining business connections to strategic partners in the advertising industry, and called ABP a mafia-like advertising network. He alleged that Adblock whitelisted all ads coming from friendly sites and subsidiaries, and promoted their product using fake reviews and pornography. Fader responded to Pallenberg's accusations, stating that a large part of the information concerning the collaboration with our partners is correct, but that the company did not see these industry connections as a conflict of interest. He said that the company is convinced that the acceptable ads business model will be successful, and says that the whitelisting criteria are completely transparent. He also stated that we have an initiative called Acceptable Ads to support websites with unobtrusive ads. Every website can participate. The Pallenberg article on purpose just slanders our good name. In response to the Acceptable Ads whitelisting, more than one fork of Adblock Plus was created. Examples are Adblock Edge and Adblock Lite. Detection. Some webmasters have used JavaScript to detect the effects of the popular Adblock filters. This is done by generating a honeypot-like URL, verifying its delivery, and DOM verification after the web page is rendered by the web browser, to ensure the expected advertising element are present. Detection is simplified, since the extension is not yet capable of replacing content, loopback proxies provide this additional functionality. These methods do not detect the presence of the adblock extension directly, only the effects of the filters. They are vulnerable to continued filter updates, and whitelist filtering web scripts with extensions such as NoScript. An attempt was made to detect the plugin itself, but that detection method was rendered unusable by the 0.7.5.2 update of Adblock Plus. Google Chrome had a defect in content security policy that allowed the detection of any installed extension, including Adblock Plus for Google Chrome. The solution of this was possible only in Google Chrome 18, and requires each developer to make some changes in their extensions. Adblock Plus for Google Chrome fixed this in version 1.3. Google Chrome fixed this in version 1.